There we go. It wasn't responding for some reason. Let's see. No, that needs to come the fuck on. Not 
not a good start to the today, people. Uh, and, and of course, now these are refusing to work as well. There we go. Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later, hit in here along with... Drakir! And, yeah, Rom has an open invitation to jump in, but apparently they are too tired at the moment. So, yeah, welcome back to Saturday Sideshow with Heart Ship... No, uh, I keep making that mistake. Heart Space Shipbreaker, not Heart Ship Space Breaker. <laughs> So that could, that would could probably be a, a decent name for a space shooter. Let's see. Last time space. we reached the end of uh, the first act, so now, yeah, now we'll be getting all new story uh, progression with this. So yeah, I'm I'm a tad annoyed from messing up the priest. Uh, Overnight mm -hmm. genetic backup complete. Deviation Just messing up the pre-stuff with this uh, today, but yeah. Otherwise, should be well enough. Let's see, employee terminal. Any new messages? No new messages. Bunny character still squeaks. And let's see, does anything need repairs? We have a bunch of stickers. The cutter, we can... I think in general we can leave things to generate to about 50% before things start getting dangerous. And let's see, can we swap these out? For something different. Yeah, yeah let's... <laughs> let's leave it at that. <laughs> totally not going to curse us. Uh, yeah, let's see. We don't have a ship to do. Let's see. A javelin or back to station hoppers. Let's see. Six million value about. Five million. Okay, your choice. Shall we do this, this, the shippy Allen or the Western Aurora? Let me take a little read there. The Western Aurora. Neptune 8? Yeah. The Atlantic Dimos 8? No, that's not 13. Eight. 13? Oh dear, it's an unlucky number, all right? And the Shippy Allen. I actually misread it to Shippy Alien. <laughs> well, yeah, these two give the most. It's only uh, about half. Mm, it's about a million difference in value, but it, both of them are double. Uh, Practically double the amount of the. Actually, they are yeah. more than double of the, the mackerels or the, yeah, the, the transport mackerels. Ship Allen, it's. It, that one is new to me. But I, we, we've done the old one before, but I don't think we've done Ship Allen. Or, or have we? Yeah, yeah we, we have done science vessels, but those were in the previous ship grade. So there should be more stuff to it now. So yeah, let's take this one. We can always take more javelins later. All right. So, yeah, there we go. And uh, OK, they still aren't fully equipped from what we should be getting. But oh uh, well, we'll get we'll hopefully get there this time. We need like we need 10,000. <laughs> we need 11,000 certification points still. So yeah, we'll just have to work on these as best as possible. These are the solar seals are new, and these are contained. Those are sealed in on the inside. Okay. Speaking of seal, yeah, we have when it's red like that next to an area, it means that it's on. There's no atmosphere. When it, there is green, that means that there is atmosphere. So. There might be some trouble getting into the sides of this ship without, well, blowing everything out. Well, it does look open to me. Like, I mean, that's a door actually is open. Yeah, the main area is open. It's the sides of this ship that are still have an atmosphere and will need to be decompressed. Okay, send that down. 
And then... Careful. There. There we go. These tethers are going to make things so much freaking easier with this. These where you can just pull loose. Alright, I'm gonna do this on my PC. Be right back. And there's Rom. <laughs> Not too tired. Yeah, of but I'm trying to... Hey, what's up? I'm trying to do this on my phone, but then I realized the audio is shit, so... I'm gonna do it on my PC. Be right back. Yeah, Rom is having a bit of issues with Steam. Okay. As in, he had to reinstall it and then re-download everything. And apparently that still didn't fix whatever bug he was working against. Okay. Same as before with the science ship. A lot of electronics floating around. And the reactor in the back. Though with these mackerel ships, all of these have that. There we go. Time to eat them. Where... Why does this thing not have a reactor? There's supposed to be reactors in these ships every... Oh, don't tell... Fuck me, it's going to be in the sides of the ship. That's going to make things a bit more difficult, I think. I don't think the reactor got loose and got stuck in the wall? No, because it would have already been melting down right now then. What it does mean is that it's contained on one of the sides of the ship. And I'll be taking that. I think that's new. Why does... Why are we getting yeah. a feeling that that's not where the reactors are supposed to be? Where is the damn... Th where is the damn thing? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. What? Why? Okay. Let's correct me if we're wrong. But that? Ain't that that stupid area to have a reactor on? Very likely. And I only just realized we have a freaking atmosphere here. So we're lucky that that panel is still stuck to the rest through your cabling there. Otherwise, the reactor would have blown straight out the fucking side. So yeah, that was a mistake on my end. Uh. Well, a mistake that uh, you didn't make, really, or... Let's be honest, if you didn't make the mistake, it would already have been one. Yeah. I'm doing this now to try and circumvent the doors, because if we... If we hit the pressurization or the atmosphere regulator here, it would only regulate... It would only decompress this area here. If I... And the doors will close. You saw the doors were opening while the place was... Uh, well, getting an atmosphere. So by doing this, I'm sort of hoping to bypass that. So it will also decompress... Uh, yeah, the outsides of the ship. And we can pull that out to join... After, yeah, to have the cockpit join in on that as well. No. That should work. Or... Famous last words. Yeah, that's refusing to decompress. Well, shit. <laughs> okay, that does mean that we have a pressurized ship that we can't unpressurize at the moment. Or not without something probably getting damaged in the way. So, let's move all of the movable stuff to the back here. Smack, of some, <laughs> smack some of the consoles around. Uh, let's see. Any data uh, drives here? Oh, there's another bunny. Hello again, uh, Rom. Hey. Eric Kurt will updating Red Faction Gorilla Remastered. No internet connection because go fuck yourself, kid. You're not doing this shit today. Or tomorrow. Or any other fucking time. See what's anyone to. Okay, do all of my games still work, or...? Uh... No internet connection, no internet connection, no internet connection, no internet connection, no internet connection. Okay, Steam's fucking me up the ass. Yeah, and it still has connection with Discord for some reason. 
because Steam is just being an ass. It, it might be the... Okay, I don't know how Steam, is, Steam works, but it might be the Steam section that's responsible for your area might be having connection issues. Why is Mafia running? Stop. Okay, we're going to have to blow this thing out somewhere. Be right back, food. All right. Okay. Uh, be my. Mm. That my lovely spears. Yeah, it is really annoying that this thing is suddenly refusing to work. I not. I don't think I've cut any cabling. So it's okay. They can't squeeze through that. Yeah, everything still has power. You can see that with the freaking light. So why is this thing refusing to work? Or is it simply a bit of, yeah, in-universe stuff that these things are programmed to only regulate so much of an area that they will not refu that they will just absolutely refuse to do it of someplace that, else? Or it might be a bit broken, since well, much of this ship seems to be good condition. You're you're basically you're sort of. If you mean broken as in uh, programming wise, then yes. If you mean broken as in the, the ships itself being broken, then you just contradicted yourself because because you said that everything looks to be in good condition. Yeah, I I, I, I just realized that that thing. What just happened? I decompressed the ship. <laughs> okay. Uh, you... That was okay. Surprise, but I'd also run a mile. I was ready for something else. Yeah, I'd rather hoping... have it go upwards than sideways. In that the whole thing disappears in the freaking processor. You all right there, Cutter? Seems like you've experienced one of the many hazards of the job for the first time. Now spares cost credits, so it's better not to blow yourself to smithereens if at all possible. Okay, why? Oh yeah, it's getting pulled in. Oh well. Yeah, it, this is not. This is going to be a bit of a bad uh, job. Yeah, at least the reactor didn't blow up, and that's the big thing at the moment. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. the way it would have killed you. <laughs> There's a lot of electric sparking around. So. Hmm. Let's see if we can get an angle. It looks unlikely. Yeah, some of the paneling has even been just absolutely destroyed. So can we get an... No, not the storage bin. Yeah, I guess this chip is now actually broken. Yeah. No longer in good condition. <laughs> actually... What did one of those that took damage? Yeah, we'll just have to clean up what we can. Uh, that's been completely destroyed. So that goes to the salvage. And just re <laughs> lessen the sparking hazards as much as possible. So we can get in and tear out the power source. Let's remove you, just to be certain. And it's spreading to the others, of course. Yeah. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Not really too sure about how the, if that would happen in uh, space in reality. And again, uh, air is an ice. Air works quite well as an isolation material. So, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. wait a oh, oh, I see now. I think the only reason that this is still attached is because this beam is still here, or... Is it just that little bit of cabling? Something is... Something kept this still attached. Wait, I think I see that there was more cabling or something there. Oh, is it loose now? Nope. So, yeah, I think... I think this... This wait, 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 little wait, wait, bit wait, wait, wait. of... What? 
You, the yellow stuff is where you cut. Uh, all right, you can just pull it off. Yeah, but I, I think forgot. this little bit of cabling, yeah, it just makes a tiny bit of contact, and that's <laughs> that saves us from blowing the reactor straight into the freaking processor. There are some mighty cables. Is it still? No, it's a, it's an error in the game's uh, engine with the phantom contact stuff. And no, it's still keeping attached. Why is that? It's still a good joke, Killian. It's still a good joke. Okay, what yeah, is I'm keeping you there. attached? Yeah, I'm going to have mighty cables to, to yeah. Yeah, they, they don't make sense. Yeah, yeah, hey, uh, shut up, program uh, suit. We might as well start cutting these. Yep, and we can also just unplug all the cables. Now we don't no, we don't need to cut them. Okay, this is holding in the equipment outside in place. So we do that. And we do on that and now this what's on the other side can be removed safely let's not cut through the entire thing because we might end up cutting through the actual valuable stuff and yeah we'll just we'll have to see yeah. let's yeah let's just pull off the cabling wait Okay, another phantom can... Oh no, it actually let, let's go. Okay, I was I thought it was going to be stuck in the air for there for a second. <laughs> Salvage secured. Okay. Get rid of you. Pull that out. Pull that out. And pull that out. Now we should be able to move this panel. And when we do that, we should be able to see what the hell is keeping... The panel shielding the reactor in place. And yeah, it's already floating off on its own. So. Hello. Welcome back. Oh, welcome back. I'm back. Tether there. Yeah. And tether there. Okay, what? Oh. Is it. Is it this? It... Oh, yes, 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 this. That yeah, is what I'll try one of my fucking points. games. I'm tired and I'm bored. Let's might as well see if anything works. Right. Oh. Okay. That that was the thing that I saved agree. us from blowing this thing up. Object accepted for processing. Credit. Here. Okay. Hello. Right, come on. I have way too much shit that makes absolutely no sense. How many games did you say you had again? I have over two, three hundred and twenty-one. No, wait, three hundred and thirty-four. Not the heck. I'm still sure that's considered uh, only a small amount compared to some people on Steam. Yeah, I know. And I restarted in offline mode. And Mafia, for some fucking reason, is... Please close Mafia before... Oh, for fuck's sake, where's the... Goddamn. Okay, wait, where the fuck's Mafia? Where's the... Yeah, fuck this. Okay. Yeah, I, I ignored the, the... I ignored this uh, forward grill because typically it, it just stays attached to the parts that it's attached to and doesn't need to be removed. Let's head back to refuel it. And let's Ooh. hope that we don't push the red bar up top uh, past the third mark. I keep pressing escape there when it's tapped to get out. And it's going to start complaining about the cabling again, which is just junk stuff. Oh. Yeah, I, I should have thought about that before sending all of that uh, useless cable in there, but oh well. Yeah, I was to... What, did you throw it into the atmosphere? No, I oh. sent it into the, pro into the processor along with the paneling. Okay, so I'm guessing... Yeah, I'm guessing they put the cables in 
to make you separate stuff out more than just sending it into everything. This is an air filter? Okay. Oh well, just one bad job isn't going to get us fired. And well, mostly it's ourselves that we, <laughs> we uh, yeah, screw over with that because it lessens the amount of progress we make. Can I pull you free now? No. Okay, we're going to need to make some diagonal cuts, I think. I think I cut it a bit too wide. Yeah, there's still there's still an area around it that's that's keeping it in. Let's see. Just want to cut that. Wait, there's something on the inside holding it. Is there? Right at the Let's... bottom. I saw something that looked like a... Yeah, ah, there it is! Of... Yeah. Uh, it shouldn't be holding it in place, but it might be another phantom connection. I'll be able to explain those or show those off better in one of the other classes of ships. Hmm. Yeah, let's see if this is holding... I think it... I think I cut it too wide. And that is why it's staying in place. Okay. There we go. And salvage deposit accepted. Credit transfer. Nope. Yeah, I think I screwed up a bit by or is it being held somewhere here? Yep. Come on. It's still attached. Something is keep. I think these clamps are keeping it in place. Still attached somewhere. Your mic is starting to give a bit of feedback here and there again. What? Yeah, you, there was another feedback buzz there for a second. Okay, now. Uh, no, it, 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 it's not there. Oh, come on! How how is that? Wait. How did I destroy an air filter? Damn, this thing is still intact. Huh? Unless well, you should the one behind it. I think the frame of the ship itself is holding it in place. Okay, if it was on the other side, then that, that shows again that you need to be careful with uh, yeah, where you're cutting, because you might accidentally cut something you don't want to have. The heck is this still? Is, that, uh, is those rods thing holding it in? But it was wrong that I tried to mention earlier. I was thinking they may be a hole in the walls. Okay. That that's on. Um, nope, still held by something. Uh, look upwards, but there's more over you, overhead. Come on, what? Yeah, I don't get why that happens with the tether sometimes. That it just double locks on itself. <laughs> That the culprits. Processing valuable objects. Credit awarded. I'm probably spending way too much time on this thing here. But I should be spending on something else. But yeah, we don't have a time limit on. Okay, yeah, let's just leave that be for now since it seems to be just unwilling to move. Okay. 
And there's static again. Yeah. Material deposited. Forgotten about this thing at the start. Sorry, I got lunch, I'm eating. Oh, alright. Uh, yeah, Rom is over in South America, so time difference. Where it's 8 p.m. here, it's about 2 over there. 2.25. Th 2.25. Yeah. Your gear's getting low. It's gonna start fighting you if you don't head on back to the hab and make some repairs. Shut up, Reaver. Okay. Let's cut everything loose. That should have cut this terminal here, but uh, <laughs> luckily not. Oh, damn. Uh, come on. It was already damaged from before. Let's not get ourselves crushed be between that and the rest of the ship. Raw material processed. There we go. Hmm. We'll probably do ship salvaging. Huh? That's a job. Yeah, you wouldn't want that to do it in this world because uh, basically our character isn't so much a worker as they are, yeah, a slave. Ah. Yeah. Also, they are a clone. Because apparently, in in the fine print, it's allowed to say uh, that you can. Yeah, murder your new quote-unquote employee. Valuable object process. You, you, oh, utility arm base. Uh, okay, I forgot. Yeah, this is going to be the worst salvage job so far. But then again, it's a bit of a k. It's a bit of a trial and error learning game. And where the heck is this supposed to be? Oh, it, it's. It's connected straight through the computer screen. Okay. Some very good computers if they can be phased through something and still work. Let's see. This. And that. The viewer shelf. And, oh. Okay, just a bit of junk paneling. You can go that way. Duck before I get hit and run by it. And you go that way. Again, duck before I get decapitated. Accepted. Okay, now you're loose with a bit of extra attached to it. So just go down there and be not my problem anymore. Yeah, it's moved again a bit, I think, or does it just seem that way? Hmm. Either way, let's get to work on getting... Let's see, you are still useful. You are still useful. Let's pluck the, one, the useful ones out. And then we get to work on the other side of the ship. And again, we're leaving the cockpit for last. Okay, and that is the air filter that we accidentally destroyed. Oh! Oh, oh yeah. Bricked. Okay. A bit surprised that there doesn't seem to be any... Oh, okay, they had solar sails, so there is no need for fuel. That explains. I was just thinking about where the hell are the fuel cells, but yeah, when you're using solar sails, aka using, well, matter from the uh, sun to propel you, or more carry you along, then you don't really need fuel cells. Yeah. <laughs> I think that happened in an episode of Star Trek. I think oh. the Majorans have it. 
yeah, I think the Bajorans used to use, uh, or still use, solar sails in some of their ships. Uh, okay, for a moment I thought we cut this thing apart, but no, it's just a bit of junk flying behind it. Okay. Uh, this panel will still be kept in place by the grill up front. So, let's go fix that. Let's not get shocked by you. Salvage secured. Credit okay. deposit. Uh, realm a bit of static again. I, I have no idea what might be causing that, but you might need a better microphone. This is a new one, so at this point I don't even know what the fuck it is. Anyways. Caution. Steam says off. no internet connection. And still keeps sending me repeated reminders that uh, you're playing Mafia, apparently. I'm not. Fuck it. Yeah, this. You might need to log out with Steam itself instead of in uninstalling it, because it's it's going fucky somewhere. Okay. It's annoying that all of this cabling is so valuable for just so many freaking Lego pieces to chuck around. Yeah, um, like, one table is not much, but many just make up a valuable amount. Okay, and everything is loose from the frame now. So let's just pluck out what we can. And yeah, we've already missed the third mark, so we might as well chuck the rest in as well. You know what? Fuck it, I'm resetting my I'm resetting my PC. Be right back. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll fucking fix something. Hmm. Oh, oh, crap, crap, crap. Uh, cancel that tether. I forgot to remove those things. We do not want those to go into the processor. And just exactly what I feared. If you cut beyond a comp, you're like, yeah, fuck it. Go in there, you. You're still. Why did it. Fuck it. Get in there, you. You're still usable. You, there. And then the last really useful stuff left. Yeah, shut up, Weaver. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Okay. Tethers. Again, I did the wrong Let's see. That. Yeah, that cost us 450 Lynx tokens for upgrades, but that at least doesn't cost us. That at least didn't cost us in uh, progression points. There we go. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit. And then the rest of all of that should be trash. Yep. Okay. Eject. The thruster and it doesn't explode. Okay, that's good. And there's still a random small chance that that might detonate the thruster, which I think says maybe has something about this world safety re uh, regulations again, in that just turning off the, the, the engine might blow it up. Okay, I'm sure it arrives. And then we Salvage don't have a secured. different scanning Account option yet. Applied. Okay, just chuck all of that in there. 
There we go. Bye bye. How much does that? How much is that worth? Once, fifteen hundred. Okay. On its own, okay. not much, but there's a bunch of them in every piece. So yeah. Invaluable bag, basically. Yeah. It's like it's like a bag of nickels. Yeah. On their own, they're worthless, but if you have a big ass bag of them, then uh, yeah. A lot of money. But you also may have an angry. Uh, 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 what are the people called by the. that you go and pay for in a mall? Cashiers. Cashiers, yes. Yeah. They would probably hate you if you bring a massive bag of nickels. Yeah. Okay. Let's pluck this thing empty. Then we cut out the glass. And yeah, then the rest of this is going into the processor. And then we can call it done. Uh, yeah bad go with this but yeah that's just my frustration and uh, trying something experimental that didn't work out and yeah you won't know if something won't work unless you try it or google yeah. it <laughs> and i'm not going to google something right now with this game i've done that enough with the solar reaver games everything okay and we're going to remove the glass oh. Oh, yeah. okay get all of it in one cut if possible and I'm, I'm guessing Rom rejoined the chat because I I can't hear that because streamer mode is on with Discord with silence and stuff like that. Hello, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, hey, welcome back. Hey. Oh well. I have no idea. I just started. Halo MCC just to see if that works. Okay. Let's get you out of there. there we go. The rest of this mostly processor stuff. Some furnace, but yeah, there's enough stuff on here for the processor to basically make the furnace stuff useless. And then the rest of this is just sweeping up. Oh, and the the ass end of the ship as well. Don't forget that part. You are not stopping right in front of there. It will... Yes, this, the, the, the furnace is trying to pull it in. And yeah. <laughs> Pardon? When a tether yeah. goes red, it does mean that it's having trouble and will break. Just set you off to on a spin. <sighs> Lady Irene, surprise, surprise, SMT5 has consumed me. Okay. <coughs> and, and, and shift. I'll be yeah. right back. 30% oh, of the ship destroyed. Oh dear. Still. Okay, that's. Yeah, we'll need another shift to get to the next level. Hello, Shipbreaker 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Some people dream of great salvage, while other people get up every morning and make it happen. Yeah. 
Okay. Let's go straight here and repair some of our stuff. Yep, let's repair that. Cutting range. There's no there's not really too much use for upgrading these at the moment. I already gotten the, all of these. None available. Okay. Object scan, yep. This will make it more easy to identify stuff that we can move around. And we still don't have access to this yet. Emphasis on yet. <laughs> okay. I find it doubtful that there'll be any new messages. Yep. I think we should get a notification whenever there is one. Okay. New ship. I hope so. Oh, the Western Aurora is still here. As this is the Neptune 8 and the Deimos. Okay. Yeah, this is the most valuable one, so we're going after this one. May hopefully be a bit easier, maybe. Yeah. So the, it has a lot of fuel tanks, so. Yeah, but those should be easy enough to deal with once they're cut free. You just need to cut. Hey, Amos, last words. How y'all holding up? Oh, that's the airlock. It's the air. I keep forgetting that these things have two airlocks. One to uh, the ship component. Or they have three airlocks. They have one to the ship parts, and then one to the cockpit itself. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Oh dear. And, and also, yeah, it's a good thing that I, it's a good thing that I grabbed on there, <laughs> almost um, on instinct. <laughs> Do I have they? They will go first to Mars. Yep. Okay, open this up. Airlock pressure levels increasing. Uh, wait. Wait. There are no go first on Earth anymore. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised with all the other stuff we've learned up uh, of the place. And okay, for a second I thought the outer doors were broken, but no. Okay. Let's see. We could start with from the front to the back. And this time the fuel cells are on the sides instead of in the middle, which makes it easier for us. I think, slash hope, since we'll just need to find where they're attached. And that's there, it seems. Okay. Yeah, much less chance of accidentally <laughs> cutting these things and blowing everything up. We will still need to maneuver them around the ship. But that's less of a hassle. And, well, we can also work on these. A lot easier to remove. But still, better keep an eye on where exactly I'm cutting. Before I ruin another air filter or something even more valuable. Yeah, better not rush it. 
Okay, something's still attached. Let's see. Hot clamp. Okay. Oh. There is... Is there movement, or was that just me floating around? I think that was... Hmm. Yeah, that was me floating around, not the ship, not the, the part itself floating. Yeah, okay. okay. How do I let get you to let go? Wait, there are clamps, so... Maybe you need to... You cut the back side of it. Maybe there's something that tells it to turn it off. No, it's just that all of them are stuck together like that. Yeah, it ah. was the it was the cutting point that points at the back. Yeah, some things we'll just never be able to move by ourselves that we need the tethers for. That also means that we're going to have to be a bit. Actually, we could just cut all of this loose, and then uh, use a tether to move the barrels down. A lot of junk that we can cut through. I'm, I'm thinking we just pull the entirety of the, the frame here down so that we can move the tanks down past it into the, to the barge. Okay. Oh. Welcome back. Welcome back. So all of this processor. Okay, the outer frame isn't. Let's be careful bear that before we cut into the back walls. Hey, I fixed it. All I had to do was reset my fucking computer. Like, so it was literally a case of turn it off and on and again. Yeah. Yeah, I learned uh, that usually it's best way to do this is Turn on and off again first, else wait one day. If it's still not working in a, a day or two, it might be good enough to start investigating what to, to fix it with. Okay, was I, it started there? I would have to send my plastic in once for repair due to... It refused to start probably after a, a game. Then it apparently will need to should it have just rested for a day and I... End up uh, losing a lot of saves for trying to reinstall it. The whole thing. Frank. So, yeah. Yeah, it's still attached. Yeah, we're we're working on a javelin now, which is a fuel tank, uh, a fuel tanker javelin. So we need to be careful of well the big ass fuel tanks up there. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Let's not blow up. Okay, we also need to just get these out of here. Let's see, did we complete? No, we did not completely cut through this. Okay, now these should be. Nope, still attached there. Now they're separate. Um... Oh, we forgot. Uh... I hope all the games will uh, work properly now, Rom. God, I hope so too. Apparently I didn't have to delete everything. I guess I had to reinstall it, Steam, and then work through all this shit. That is going to... Yeah. <laughs> that is still going to take time, however, because I have a lot of games. Yeah. yeah, and bless you. I was coughing, but thanks. Oh. Deposit not accepted. Oh, those are... I was getting mixed up. Those are furnace stuff. You literally just sent in raw materials to the furnace. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That needs to go there. And slowly but surely, it's going there now. Cage. These now need to be moved down, and they should be able to survive 
a bump, but not a quick and hard one. Every time you see something like that, I expect it to blow up hard for some reason. Don't there. take that out of contact, people. Is that a smiley face? Where? I'm not it, seeing any. On the barrel. You're standing up for a smiley face on its end. Okay, I missed that if it was. Okay. Oh, wait, I can, think, can see it now. I'm not facing down. that thing anymore. Yeah. Great, too cutting. Oh, we were out of range. Okay, maybe we could just get the cutter range upgrades. Those two don't need to be separated. And since the reactor should be in the back here... Oh, no, okay, out of tethers. It's a bit quick. Hmm. Oh well. Down you go. Down with the guitar. Yeah. Like okay, now we have two halves of the ship left, which should be a lot easier to deal with. And this one is already open. <coughs> oh, there's a pain in the ass. Okay. Oh, and yeah, okay. cool. All right. now these are non-functional, so we have to cut our way in. Luckily, it's not pressurized there. Okay. Oh, out of fuel. Okay, that... Yeah, I should have worked on that earlier, but we still have the tether to jungle gym ourselves around. So, there we go. I have a tether. We don't have fuel to slow down, though. Because that also uses the brake. Oh... So, yeah, just have to shoulder bump this thing, pull ourselves that way, and here we go. Okay, now let me... Come on. And there we go. Fuel and tethers, and done. <laughs> okay, yeah, and uh, we should avoid uh, having that happen again. What happens if you send the fuel to the uh, furnace? Uh, boom, <laughs> most likely, since it's a freaking furnace after all. Yeah, the probability. I love harsh language on the high ups. Yeah. Okay. Probably should have still looked into this part before we tore the middle out, since apparently still the power is out, even though all of this was intact. Emphasis on was. Hmm. But yeah, the game is a bit iffy on some things there. Hmm. Okay, the music had me thinking there for a second that something broke or blew up with the, uh... What is it even called? The, uh, the, the hat-like things on a drum set. The metal ones. I have no idea! I don't think I even heard it mentioned. Okay. Yeah, let's just keep moving on, cutting through parts and sending stuff where it belongs. And let's try to stay uh, above 70% of the ship salvage this time <laughs> instead of destroying 30%. Yeah. Wise planning. It's 
still some points remaining. And great. Wrong There's not really a need to cut that free now because the thing that's over was attached to it is already gone. So we can leave that in place. Careful around that. I'm not really sure if sparks count for anything possibly blowing up. Since there are quite a lot of sparks jumping around whenever we cut something. What about that much wrong? Hmm. Yeah, they could just be taking a, a break because of yeah, the sheer annoyance that they have to deal with. Yeah, annoyance and yeah. frustration. I, I hope we make more well for him. Oh, he's back. There Hello. you go. Hello. 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 Again. What happened? The audio shit itself. Oh. I get the feeling you might need to have your computer looked at. My computer, my internet, my headphones, my microphone, which is on my headphones, the usual. What happens if you just launch the whole ship to the bottom? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a certain point where something is considered lost. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't get paid at all. And since, well, you still have to... You, you get you get charged for things at the end of the day, so you'd basically just be uh, running a half million... You're running up your death by half a million again. Death. death. You're dead. Yeah. Thank you, Dad was a lot bigger than I actually thought it was. It's impressive that it's that one tether is still managing to pull all of that. Yeah, and just to clarify for uh, Rom, when yeah. he talks about slavery, he means that your character, this character here is a debt slave. It's gonna suck when your job starts with, and now you owe us a $50 billion fine. Here's how you can repay it. Yeah, yeah, that's basically what they're doing. Maybe it goes well for you, if you find something to find you for. Yeah, that Weaver character, base, he's been at this for 20 years. And then they uh, screwed up one of his clones, because if you die, they just print out another clone of you. And something went wrong, and then he was incapable of work, but still had Got all of that debt uh, to work through, so they decided to make him a an old, bit of a uh, yeah middle manager, I guess. And then he had to pay for getting trained for that as well. Yeah. Uh, a, the, a bit of the plot at the moment is that there, the some of the shipbreakers are sick of all of that and are starting a union. And, uh, well, you can expect how the the company is responding to that. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, and that's why there's a an inspector coming to check on the illegal union actions and such. And someone someone alerted them to it. So someone of the one of the characters is a, a snitch. My guess at the moment is that it is a uh, weaver. It... I just want to have to get a fucking... Okay, a $15,000 or 15,000 credit a table. Okay. What's okay. that down the table? Mm. Yeah, yeah, they're the same as with everything else here, that's likely inflation has gone to hell and back. And then went around back once again for another round trip. <laughs> Very possible. Actually... Body, head, hand... 
jacket, t-shirt, leggings, shorts, boots, belt, pocket, dagger, shotgun, knife. Okay, and so Claire's figure does come with a body. Okay, that's fine. What the heck? Uh, looking up figurines or something? Yeah, it's a uh, Claire from Resident Evil figure. Oh. Oh, okay, now it makes sense. Yeah, that was the first clear that I was thinking of. He comes and with a knife hand, thinking. gun hand, and the shotgun for some reason, even though Claire never gets the shotgun. I thought the robot inspected to make sure he was dressed. And so I got confused when he brought up shotguns. <laughs> you thought I'd gone insane for a bit? I was wondering, wait, is this not a revolution? <laughs> no, I haven't got it saying, it's just... I'm just trying to buy some shit for Resident Evil. Also, did you know that there are Nazi figurines? Oh, dear. Yeah, so I'm surprised. And yeah, I just I had a thought, since glass is worth so much for furnace material, why cut into it when we can just the cut the... Less we, yeah, less worthwhile stuff around it. And now we also have full access to everything here. Oh. Some fabric that goes for. Okay, even fab. That's some cheap ass fabric. Hmm. Okay. Go. Oh, yeah, I, I bought a, a Figma recently of Samus Aaron. I must admit that I made one little error with it. Uh, yeah, you, have, I was you the, ordered yeah. the other M version, not the... Uh... Yeah, not the Metroid Prime 3 version that I was looking for, but that that's my own mistake. I'm not going to return it. And like I said on the server, uh, it's going to make the Prime one look better in, compar uh, in contrast. Anyways, yeah. so yeah. Hey, you wanna know a fun fact? Guess how much money I'm spending on fucking eBay. Too much? $1,593.98 on okay. everything I'm buying. Does that include a, a better microphone? No, it does not. It's all toy stuff. Like... Fucking Desert Eagle, Leon figurine, Claire figurine, a body for an Ada figurine, the parts for the Ada figurine, a set, bunch of guns, boots, two bodies for Ada, a thigh holster, a figure, a figure of Alucard from Helsing, some clothing for a GI Joe, which at this point I think I'm just gonna give to one of my naked figures because my brother took away all their pants and they need pants. <laughs> Jay? Fucking shotguns, knee pads, Wait, stuff from Vietnam, is, stuff from fucking... The shotguns. Yeah, a bunch of shotguns because I'm buying also a bunch of stuff from like SWAT and whatnot. And a few walkie-talkies. And some side holsters to hold guns. Okay. I'm speechless. How about the oh, amount of on, money I broke I'm... it. Wait, what? Just bumping it into the wall broke a the terminal there. Oh, oh. No, I was questioning. Wait, really? Everything I said just broke you. <laughs> yeah, for the he was hinted at as well. Okay, what is it out here? Oh, that's the doors. I think I'm near broken. <laughs> Actually, doors are cheap as all hell, so those can go into the <clears throat> into the furnace as well. The problem is going to be the freaking air filter here again, and only now do I notice that it actually has cutting lines on it. So, there's a cut. And there's a cut. There and then with one more, it should be free. 
There we go. Yeah, this time it doesn't have any weird rods up, up and down pulling it. Yeah, this struct those were structural reinforcements. And yep, and it's just like they, they were they were responsible. Okay. Now that can go off. That can go to there. And now we're stuck in this mental image of Rom buying pants to his shotgun. Ch <laughs> Do and go. Now we also have the thruster. And that's the first milestone. And it's. Yeah, all of this should go into the processor as well. Gazoon tights. Let's thank you again. Okay, here's a math. Yeah, Wait, thank you. Okay, here's a math problem for you. <laughs> a bullet is shot from a rifle at 120 meters per second with the its initial velocity it has. 400 meter per second squared in acceleration. In time T1, the bullet is the target that's 700 meters far. What's the time? Right. It's a reverse uh, question. You need to start with the impact time, then calculate how long the, the bullet would travel, and then the 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 track detract that from the time uh, from the known time. Well, why did it wait? Who was the mob question aimed for? They shot the gun. They, they shot the gun and it flew. And the bullet I mean, flew, but, so... but, uh, Was it all aimed to be asked to was it Ilium or me? Pick one. Ilium. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit split already with yeah, commentating and. Uh moving this so what was how much was the distance again 700 meters okay and the was it the bullet was accelerating or what did you have a travel time uh, travel speed on that the, the initial velocity is 120 meters and has now the initial velocity is 120 meters per second and it has a 40 meters per second squared acceleration. Uh, okay, so it's expense, exponentially speeding up. Let's see. So it starts at 120 plus how much every time? Or every second? Uh, 140 uh, 40, 40, 40 meters per second. 40 meters per second squared. Okay. Mm. Uh, so you you start with 170. Uh, we start with 700 minus 120. Then you have 580 left divided by 40 uh, get squares. So let's see. 5. No, uh, just 6. 580. Um, 40, then 200, if I, around three seconds, it, the answer would be, I think. So because you start with four, you start with 40, then you add 40 squared. Actually, no, that is wrong. Uh, that would not be six. Yeah, one sixty. That would be sixteen hundred. Hmm. Yeah, be between two and three seconds would be the answer be at least. <laughs> I think. I'm talking about this new answer for that. That math is way too advanced for me. Uh, 
しれないですね。Uh, could you、uh, could you write that out、uh, on the channel? Then I can take a look at、uh, later for calculating it. I want to point out I'm pulling this from a fucking YouTube comment, so yeah, why not? Let's roll. <laughs> it is literally a YouTube comment about a scene in in、uh, Gravity Falls where where. Uh, where Uncle Ford pulls out a gun and goes, Your math is no math for my gun! But yeah, I'm gonna post it on the channel. Hang on a second. Okay. Oh, yeah, I was good. Didn't we have Gravity Falls on the list to watch on? Yeah, we do. It, it is a really good show. It is.、Uh, Anyways, there's the question. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put this on shit posting and see if I melt anybody's brains. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think like, if I was to try, I would melt my、oh. brain. Or rather, they, they guess a number. There was an atmosphere regulator still attached to the cockpit when, as I sent it off. Oops. Oh well. Let's see then. We could start plucking this thing, but. Yeah, let's, let's get to work on these at least. Because otherwise, we can't pull them in the outside off, and it'd take a lot longer to just remove every individual item just through the airlock. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, good. Okay, it wasn't going for a two for one there. It was there.、And、a little cut through the wall, but that's no. no that's no.、Uh, yeah, apparently, no the、risk. Queen of England has a gold plated Wii. Wait, <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I've heard of that at some point. <laughs> yeah, she plays Wii Sports and shit. Gold plated Wii. Yes. As、you know, the like the game console. It sounds idiotic. Somebody, it's a good way to ruin a console. If it's plated, it just has a, a, a layer of gold over it. Not that the entire thing is gold. It would、yeah. overheat im immensely then, because gold works well for transferring heat. Yeah,、Or、that's gold. Actually, No, If I, it's just I plated, like you know, the case、uh, with an outer layer of gold, that, that could be enough to break it.、Mm. And also,、Howdy. definitely should not leave、uh, let any sunlight touch it. Okay, why、yeah. then? I almost get the anger here. Don't play the console. Why? Because, yeah, because that is typically the answer for all of that sort of stuff. Yeah. You gotta ask if they. Yes, yes. It sounds more like a PR stunt that Nintendo started up or something.、Mm -hmm. Let's see. You can come loose. Okay, it's a bit wedged in. There it goes. Okay, let's correct ourselves a moment. This getting moved around isn't too bad. The most valuable stuff at the moment is the ion ring. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. So, look at an ion cannon. Let's see.、Um...
Okay, there's no glass window in this part to remove. So we can just pull everything out, maybe cut out one of the floors to make it easier. Okay, that's the second Soviet goal. What is with the characters breathing at the moment? It sounds like this. The music sounds like there's supposed to be a danger somewhere. Wait, is the suit? Oh, I think the suit is taking a lot of damage. Mm, don't think so. I think it was at two bar, uh, two uh, yellow bars before as well. It might have been the electrics from pulling one of these off just now. It, it seems to have stopped. Hmm. Oh, oh, that's why. When did this happen? Okay. Like, seriously, how did that happen? You know, at the rate I'm going, I'm actually thinking it might be faster for me to just reinstall every game I own. Dear. Uh, I'd more advise to just install a few, not every single one of those 200. We'll not keep every the game running. I own, because a lot of the games I own don't really run in my PC, but more like every game that can run in this thing. Okay. Yeah, that sounds a bit smarter. Mm. Like, I know I can run Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2, so I gotta fucking set that up. Not doing this the most efficient way, but oh well. Those are some pricey ladders. Okay. What the quality made? Okay, the posts have burned themselves out. Now, which way... Which of these walls was the one that was cutting into? It seems to be held in place by something. Hmm. Like, I can I'm... run XCOM Enemy Unknown. I know I can run that. Nice! It's XCOM 2, on the other hand, doesn't want to work on my PC. Wait, what? I don't know why. Okay. Oh, yeah, that, that's weird. So I usually just run it on my laptop. But with the I'm amount of mods me. I have, I think I'm going to have to modify the laptop. <laughs> Mod the laptop. Uh, also, do either one of you know how to create a, mo a voice mod for XCOM 2? Mm, no, hey, you, you'd have to go for the... You'd have to ask the forums, probably. A voice yeah. mod. Voice pack. I, I, I can't tell this, this wrong about myself here. When it comes to technology, I'm close to a K-man. Mm. Like, my knowledge of technology, especially a computer, is extremely limited. You think you're bad? Half my family relies on me to basically say, to basically fix their shit, their computer shit, and I barely know how to have this shit works. Yeah, yeah. I rely on my brothers and uh, alien. At your own risk. Yeah, do I, I do know some tricks, I have slight understanding, but the, some things I do not have to wit, unless I feel like uh, the information I given is sound enough. Okay. I'm gonna take a nap, you guys have... I think, yeah, I'm gonna slip into the food coma. You guys have fun. Okay. You do that. Have a good rest, uh, Rom, and thank you for joining. No See worries. Later. See you later. See you later. Okay, that found a data drive. Hope we have a good rest. Yeah. So, I hope the blue coma, as he often says, is a yoke. Otherwise, I'm worried. Let's just maneuver that thing out. Yeah, running low on fuel again. 
At least Reaver has stopped complaining at us to go refuel every time. That's a big ass storage bar I've been. Refuel. Refuel. And oh, it's only 500 or 5,000. Oh well, might as well get it out for the points. I wonder, I wonder if anyone has been able to do a 100% salvage. Possibly with a lot of uh, planning and careful cutting. There we go. And then you'd, you'd have to keep track of every little bit of, sal of uh, scrap that you cut loose as well. Yeah, the, the, those are to be in the same mode as us. Like, if you're on a time mode, if the oxygen and all, then it's then a hundred percent is probably almost impossible. Yeah. Okay. So that's there. And that as well. And you. Yeah. Do remember your fuel. Yeah. Just going to cut these last bits loose. Then we can refuel. Okay. Luckily, a lot, most of these clamps, they are made out of nanocarbon that you can't accidentally cut. But yeah, still something to be, to be careful with. Okay. And that, and that, and now the back should be, yep, it is loose. Okay. And only the big, oh, still some here. Then only the big hard points should be remaining now. So in the meantime, we send you that way. And we go refuel. Hmm. Do wonder what the maximum speed you could get in this game is. Maximum speed! We can load that. What happened here? Oh, that there's those something is missing there. Hmm. Oh. Okay, that's maybe the maybe that panel took the cutting point out here. Hmm. Maybe. Right. Answer your question. I think the fourth speed you can uh, reach in this game is probably the speed you fly in when you. Blow me a reactor. Yeah, yeah, the easy answer is too fast. Yep. Okay. There, we do not want to cut these things. Or at least you're probably dead before you know how fast you went. <laughs> yeah. I started... Okay, we still have 36 minutes left. Plenty of time for this. And... Uh, what? I'm guessing we'll get more story at the next rank. Hopefully. Okay. That should be the last. Yep. Okay, so now everything can get started moving down. In the meantime... Hmm. Let's see. Processor, processor, all of this. Let's actually pull you back for a moment. You continue your journey, same as you. Oh, yeah. I thought I'd send more, but okay. You down. Okay, now we've got a bunch of pieces floating around. That's going in. That just needs a push. That's a bit of junk. 
we can miss a door of just 900 credits. Pretty sure those were more valuable before, but I well. Oh, oh, a power cell was on there somewhere. Okay, that is a that is a loss, but not a grievous loss like a reactor would be. Yeah, this means that we need to keep an eye out still. And actually, I think all of this can go straight in. Pardon? Given. Valuable object given! Yay! Okay, that's going to pull the last bit with it. Oh, it is struggling. Yeah, that should help. And that clears the way for the last piece of the iron ring. And yeah, then it's just waiting for everything to arrive. And maybe throw some more junk out. Object okay, so nothing too much lost. Only, you know, the, a, a power cell has something Salvage valuable lost. Yeah, we should probably a bit more thorough. There's still only a single one. But yeah, we need to we need to keep a good eye on the stuff that we're sending through. We just basically pluck it empty before we start pulling everything off. Yep, and you know you only need to wait for it to reach the destination. Yeah. You want Speed that it up free. a bit. And I think that should be about 90%. Ninety-five percent, maybe even. And it came loose from each other. Okay. Okay, come on, get moving. And the rest should only just be little cut bits like this. Okay. That should hit the last marker any second now. Seriously? Oh yeah, we, all right, we did the uh, process painfully. There we go. And that should also get us to the next level. Yep, six thousand and six million. Next, yeah, level eight. Level awarded. License upgraded. Okay. And uh, about a third way to the next one. Yay! So the <laughs> okay, the processor is named after Eugene L. Processor, who invented the furnace. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. Uh... Morning ship breaker. Lynx would like to share the following message. The only peas permitted in the salvage yard are profit, processor, and potassium trifluoromethane sulfonate. Eh? <laughs> Let's see. New ship access, Javelin Heavy Cargo. Small. While sturdy enough for gate travel, this model is primarily used to ferry cargo between stations. U uses industrial-grade cargo containers, which cannot be penetrated by scanners. Are cut resistance and are extremely heavy. Improved grapple strength is recommended to salvage them. A very well-performing model with a robust second-hand market. It seems to be popular for certain illicit activities, for which I remind everyone we cannot be handled accountable. Obron Osari, CEO, Helix Heavy Industries. Uh, I yeah, he does have sort depend. of a point there. Cutter, yeah, but it will depend. I wanted to tell you, I'm mighty impressed by you. Remind me of me when I started, all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Had big dreams of hitting the rails back then. Bought myself one of them classic armadillo rigs. Named the old girl Beulah after my mother. Told you about my bad revive a while back. Another case of me and technology not getting on, I guess. Bottom line is, this body just ain't fit for flying no more. So, I want to give Beulah to you, Cutter. Now, she ain't in the best of shape, but she'll do good by you. 
Hell, even a few places around the village that'll fit her out for gate travel, if you're so inclined. Anyway, that's it. She'll do more for you mm. than me now. I'm just happy she's going to be with somebody that truly appreciates her. Weave her out. Does he mean a ship there? Yeah, what? That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. Oh, you got something. Yeah, we found a drive in this ship, so we do have something to decode. Let's see, Exeter Paulson. The Exeter Paulson era, 2008 to 2255, or 2208 to 2255. Okay, this is another of these propaganda pieces, isn't it? Born well into Earth's post-climate collapse era and raised in the intellectual haven of the Swiss Confederacy, Exeter always had his sights on solar space. Pardon? From a young age, friends and family knew him as a true visionary who showed excellence in every endeavor, calling bullshit already. In early adulthood, he began looking off-world for venture opportunities and started acquiring small businesses with untapped potential, folding them all under the umbrella of Paulson technology. You utilize okay i think that's a that shouldn't be capitalized i think utilizing the vast financial resources from across a port his portfolio exeter had a gift for unlocking the true potential of every acquisition aka daddy's boy you know daddy's rich rich daddy's boy went around buying you know, companies from the sounds of it in 2208 with over 200 years of human space travel and leaving a swath of dangerous debris that was now a very real hazard for further human expansion. The International Federation of Earth and Humanity uh, introduced massive subsidies for the clearing and recycling of this detritus. Uh, as true as ever, Exeter came across a mismanaged but highly respected recycling corporation, Link Salvage. Uh, this acquisition quickly awarded Exeter vast subsidies. That was is, there's a, a space missing there that would enable him to focus on his primary vision, creating a network of rapid mass transit uh, between Earth, Mars, and beyond. Eventually, this vision would manifest as the modern railgate network. Sound with how Link's salvage used the now extinct Wildcats, with the air of a mythological beast as its moniker, Exeter Paulson rebranded his entire operation as Link's Corporation in, two, in 2210. Up next, the railgate project 2230-2267. Hmm. Mythological. Now, now, with, now, now, with the air of a mythological beast, not the air uh, as in the style of uh, some myth mythological beasts. Not that it is mythological. Uh, yeah, I know. And it is, it is it not extinct as well? And probably. Oh, I get these What the heck? <laughs> Let's see, getting some decent data out of this. Let's see, device name backup work. Owner me first found on this Chul 13. We've already heard that one. I... Wait. Link's branded gear. It's a cut above the rest. Let's see that. We've already seen this one. This is the new one. Solar History Volume 1. Let's see. Christina Klein understood the business of space better than most men. She knew that the worthless polar caps far from the easily accessed equator had propellant buried underneath. She gobbled up every piece of land that the NSC, NSC, NSA would sell her. Years later, as every corporation required acquiring ice fields at a premium, she was selling. She liquidated her standing as everyone tried to get into the business. And she took her money and invested it in, in a real uh, prope uh, propellant inside the solar into the system. And invested it in the real propellant into the solar system ships. The Sagan shipyards were producing a new class light freight every day for years. Her ships would colonize the outers and she'd build a hell of an empire on the backs of intrepid haulers. Captain Frank Guan. Okay. <laughs> Alcohol, okay. The best bars are on the moon. Hidden in the old Sagan uh, shipyards, there are shipwrights that know how to drink. If you're off, if you're from off Luna, they'll give you the alcohol. That grown zero-g distilled real nasty shit. 
But if you can put it away, they'll put out the lunar vodka. Uh, vodka. Uh, the potato mash is from the Earth, but it's dis it distills differently underground on Luna, and it'll make even your average Russian sing walking on the moon. <laughs> Captain Jace McCullen. Can um, McCullen? <laughs> Some moon potatoes? Yeah, literal moonshine. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the crew I've had on are oneers, raised on the blue, and they're good folks. But damn, I miss footy in the Se footy in the Sagan yards. Oneers just don't know how to play football in the zero. Uh, one one G, I'm guessing. They can't unlearn that the ball isn't going to fall when I, uh, while I'm landing a bicycle that I planted off of the ceiling. Uh, a Warner goalie is essentially game blind. How are, you, how are you from the birthplace of the sport and can't play it? This is uh, chess, not checkers. I might as well just play against myself in an airlock. Captain Tia Chetegner, in Chetegner. I'm guessing. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure back on Earth, football wasn't played in zero G. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's this about this rig? Does he mean some sort of shuttle? It sounds like it's if it's supposed to be going through rail gates. Which are likely to be similar, if not identical, to basically uh, what would be the words? A, a sort of star gates that. Or Mass Effect relays, and that they launch you. Gets who knows how fast to <laughs> from one point to another. Let's repair these. And no real need to upgrade its top speed. We can just use the cut the grapple to move around. Might as well upgrade the range a bit. Scanner. System scanner. Okay, we're getting that. Uh, it projects a wide band of EM waves to determine not just the density, but material state and even chemical makeup of objects to in uh, interpret ship uh, subsystems. So basically fuel and electrical. I'm guessing. Grapple has charge push. Yep, we want that for really big pieces. We can't get... Hmm. Where is the tether strength? Okay, that seems to be missing at the moment. We'll see it eventually. Uh, audio resync. We'll, we'll want this to be sure about fuel and such. And still no access to the demo charges. That's about that, I think. So let's take a look at another ship. We won't be able to completely demolish another one in the time that we have, but we can at least get started. Wait, current ship? Wait. We can continue to salvage the older one? Yeah, even though we, it's mostly just a... Hmm. I'm guessing it's mostly just a thing for the game to keep track of things like it has the old it has the, the old design still loaded in, even though there's basically nothing left. So yeah, we need okay. to pick a different one. Let, let's go for a heavy cargo javelin, because that'll be new as well. Earlier. And yeah, this will be our introduction to the well, the cargo containers. That it up yeah, that it warned off. No, that it warned off in the messages. Okay. Morning, crew. Uh, let's hit them salvage goals. Y yeah, um, hey, Weaver. Do you know when this administrator gets here? Remember, no need to worry. Should be here any day now. Uh, thanks. Everything okay, Kai? Y yeah, y yeah. Just nervous, you know. I, I just really can't lose this job. Oh, slow down there, Kai. They always let go of the screw-ups first, right? Kai. Just work careful. Avoid any major accidents and you'll be golden. Yeah, 
I just need to keep my head down. Hmm. His radio is doing a lot better now. Wait, what? His radio, it was constantly giving static earlier. Oh, it, yeah. Right. It, it could just be that they're playing a bit of a paranoia game with us. That it wasn't actually one of our crew that alerted everything. But still, it makes you sort of think that it is likely. Uh, I should have checked. Oh well, only just a bunch of bottles flying around. Wait, is that? Oh no! Space Pepsi. Worse. Well, yeah, Space Pepsi, but still. If that's here, that means Pepsi Man may, might be near. Airlock pressure levels increasing. Okay. But now I'm tempted to play Pokemon song, but. Uh, I don't want to keep a copyright. Yeah, I, I very much doubt that your singing would be that accurate to it. Who uh, said I would sing it? I definitely don't have the vocal cord to shout Pepsi Man in her tone. And yeah, that's fuel running through it. The lights also give that away. But yeah, this. Well, this is the first time that we're dealing with an advanced fuel system. So yeah, we need to find where the heck the shutoff points are. So let's see, where are you doing? There we are. Flush fuel valve, flush fuel pump the nacelles and conjoint pipes. So that should empty them out. And that should... Yeah, I'm not seeing any lights anymore. Double check. Wait, that still sounds like something. Or is that just a basic noise that it gives? I did buy I did buy the audio upgrade, didn't I? Hmm. Now these should be empty. Sure. But let's still be very careful with them. Let's get a little bit of distance from that. Okay, no explosion. Oh. Even though it almost did sound like something was going wrong. Yeah. Now, if it did work, then this should come loose without anything happening. And it does. Okay, so the fuel system is empty now. What was that, Helium? Hmm? Did I hear panic and fear in your voice? Yeah, uh, no comments. Mm. <laughs> okay, it is still being <laughs> held in place by the pipe, though. Hmm. Yeah, just send more to fix it. <laughs> uh, he deals with sewer pipes, not fuel pipes. Okay. Just in case. There we go. Ruined a bit of, uh, a little bit of piping, but oh well. We have to cut something loose. And yeah, those are the shipping crates. They are just easy to get loose like this, but yeah, they are. They weigh way too much. They're two and a half tons. We can still nudge them around. But we can't easily move them. So that's what the tethers are for. Okay. Let's move you. What state is the cutter in? 81% 80, should be safe to keep using for a while. Okay. Yeah, later on we'll have to release these by... Uh, Cutting hard points. But for now, these are just simply glued to the side. <laughs> okay. Is there a way to get you to let go? Hmm. 
doesn't seem like it. So we still have to re destroy a little bit of the piping. Yeah, only 200 credits total with that, so yeah, no big deal. What would be a big deal is actually cutting through the nacelle. Okay. Careful. There. And off you go. You will have to do the same. Yeah, yeah, shut up about the little bits of pipe that you were destroying. Actually, okay, only this section is for the furnace. The rest is still usable for the processor. Not really sure if there is a, a different way of removing pipes like that. Maybe we'll find out later. Hopefully. <laughs> and shut Maybe. up, phone. I do not want you to go looking for stuff. But the... Okay, since when are we Spider-Man in space? That was a that was a long lunch for me to grab onto something, even when I only hit the button accidentally. Maybe we've been watching too much Spider-Man of late. Okay, continue stripping the outsides. And let's still have a decent amount of time. Don't think we'll be able to get this out in its entirety right now. Hmm. We could probably. This, the fuel tank is for the barge, and all of this is for the processor, so we'll have to probably cut the pipe there to get it to let go. Okay, you two, down. And you Bombs as well. away! Oh wait, sorry, I mean crates away! Yeah. No remaining. Okay. Um, we have that one left, and we, the cockpit is still pressurized, I think. Well, don't, don't pressure it then. Yeah, give it time to relax. Uh, yeah, it's going to. We're going to have to blow it out, I think. Uh, actually, no, there should be a regulator in there. This time we're not forgetting it. So let's see, where is it? Let's grab it some there. Air pressure level decreasing. And now this should open up. Or not. What? Okay, the airlock is still pressurized. Airlock pressure levels dropping. There we go. Okay. Remove you from the wall. So we don't accidentally send it into the processor again. And then we cut the, the side panel free. Yeah, we I'd can. be a bit worried if I were to... If I were to pilot one of these things, and the, the only thing keeping me from space was two little cutting points like that. Yeah. Would, would make me concerned as well. That was the habit that I grabbed. I, I can't drop that in the barge. And hello, another bunny character, D. We're going to have to need to start coming up with actual names for these at some point. Dennis, am I not right now already right, again? Wait. Uh, Bunny hello. D, what is it? Yeah, Bunny character D. And someone was stashing snacks underneath their seat. 
These little bits here. So we could just cut the, those both at the same time since it's, well, nanocarbon behind it. We can't cut that. Okay. Oh, yeah, no tethers. <laughs> okay, then I might as well show off the charge push. Which, well. There. It's a charge push. The name says it all. Don't smack me. I was expecting that to happen. Okay, now we fill up again. And with some luck, we might be able to get the certification level 9 with this ship. Yeah, some lights destroyed again. Not on the, of our concern. Range. Yeah, it's getting pulled in. Okay. Another airlock. And let's start peeling this thing. But I need to go this way, not out the other airlock. <laughs> Okay, I'll be today. There we are at it from time to time. This time I'm removing you preemptively. Yeah, I just at least I try to at least turn it away from the mic. Like, oh yeah, we're dealing with a double airlock here. Yeah. Nothing too different. Yeah. There's more stuff that cuts. Didn't I just recently do one of our Gameplaying uh, off screen. I, when I was to treat your actions, I'd be burped into the mic. Yeah, that has happened a few times. Yeah, almost once. Oh, you mean in general that others have done that to you as well? Hmm. And we even know now at the moment. Yeah, it was last week when I acc accidentally did it. I was just like, a high idiot and I thought I just burped. <laughs> and then you stopped the law. <laughs> so you, you laughed and said, well, that's the one way to greet someone. Oh yeah, that was, that I remember now. <laughs> okay. Not there. With that, people, I don't say stop greeting your friends with burps. I I don't think that's a good trend. Yeah, these are being a bit annoying with just how many cut points there are. Well, you just say you would be unsafe to your PSP that was already up with two of those. Cut of damage. And yeah, the... What is on the other side of this? Or is there anything on the other side? There is nothing on the other side. So we don't need to cut those. Nope. You are coming off. off. Okay. Things are starting to drift away a bit. Oh, a lot of lights. It seems to be a lot of lights we can just throw down to the barge. Now remember, those lights are only worth about a thousand each. Whilst yeah, these but plates are ten thousand each. Yeah, but if there are many of them, then that's pretty good. That goes high quite quickly. Maybe not as quick as the cables, but... 
I think the tables would prove more valuable with uh, the, how many there are. Yeah, that that uh, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous with the cables. I thought that would be nanocarbon, but okay. Cutter, don't forget your equipment durability doesn't take care of itself. If your gear's acting up on you, best practice is to patch it up in the half. Yeah, yeah, to be shut up, forward, Weaver. Not the other way around. Okay, any more cut points? There's one. And now everything should be coming apart. At least once we start pulling at everything. Oh, thank you. Popping out. You there. You there. I would have put it right on there, okay. On the other side of it. You there. You no need for a tether really. Just a shove. Accepted for processing. Credit deposited. Wait, it's taking you with it? Oh no! <laughs> Almost being kidnapped by a plate of material. Yep, and get and get processed. It's going to miss. Oh, nope, it's going, it's going in. Okay. Yeah, just doing... These panels are just worth so much freaking more. And those lights are really worth spending the time on. Okay. That's a bit of furnace parts. Uh, oh well. Actually, cancel that one, cancel that one. That is all still connected to the rest of the ship. We do not want to send that off just yet. <laughs> okay. Can get these other airlocks out. Okay. Is it attached or is it just wedged? It's attached. Okay. So we just do that. That. And that should be. Okay. There we go. Now we can start pulling that off. Actually, is that still attached? No, it's it's not a it's not attached. It's, it's hooked around. What is going on here? Yeah, yeah, it's hooked. It's hooked around it. It needs to be pulled away first. Okay. Let's get everything useful out then. aiming for but okay give me the freaking clatter okay that is safe for transport there we go still need to check how much these switches are uh, worth Luckily, when we have something grabbed and we push, it on only the thing that we're affecting gets shoved, not everything around it. Are they not put anything? Oh, wait, no, man. Oh, wait, no, that's processed. It, okay. What the? <laughs> I didn't think it'd be 
I was expecting a noise, but not uh, to be that sudden. But yeah, that's the two hour timer that I'm starting up. I'll probably make it not make a noise next time. Get out. And yeah, let's finish plucking this bit out and then we'll call it. Sounds good. You get out. You are you too chunky to get out? There we go. Hey, who are you calling totally chunky? There's, a, there's actually a character with Nintendo called Chunky Kong from the Nintendo 64 uh, Donkey well Nintendo from Donkey Kong 64. So already tell us what console it's from, of course, since it's in the freaking name. What the heck? Wait, uh, where does the lamp go? Hmm, what? The, the lights, uh, are they barge or proper thing? The lights are barge. Alright, well, we have one there, so might as well put it down. Yeah. And, yeah. A thousand credits, basically, just a Snickers bar in this universe, probably. Okay. Yeah, you were cleaning that room out, so might as well clean it properly. What is that? Barge? Hmm, okay. That's new. Or does it just mean a random part that's of no value or something? It's furnace for this furnace. Okay. And off you go. Last inspection. Doesn't seem to be anything valuable. Okay. Oh, there was the rest. I was wondering, wasn't there more parts around here? And well, that is on its way. We just chuck out a few more pieces. And that can go there. Okay, there it, and they go. Okay, let's chop that off. Raw material process. Credits deposited. Oh, oh, come on, that didn't go in. And there we go, one half disassembled javelin. And yeah, let's get back. I'm still curious who might be a snitch among the crew, if there is even one among the crew of people that we know. It could just be that they are sort of faking us out and that someone other, yeah, in some other area, started blabbing. But yeah, we'll, we'll just have to continue with the story to find out. Yeah, and uh, where, where are you going? Back into here, because we can't save, uh, we can't save in the middle of a, of a run. Oh, alright. I thought you were to finish the ship. Three million. Okay. And yeah, the rest of the ship should still be enough to get us to the next rank. Okay. So what last minute bullshit do you have for us now, Lynx? Breaker 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Make... Please tell me I heard that right, Rook. We will give you this old armadillo. Man, that's so lucky. I used to help my old man fix up beaters like that back on Eris. I hear weavers might not be in the best of shape. Listen, I can help get that thing ready to ride the rails. I'm transferring a diagnostics program to you. Go ahead and boot it up. Okay, uh, let's see if we're gonna keep dodging the void. <laughs> and yeah, we'll check this out and then we'll end the stream. Let's see, Ship Doctor, unverified application. Getting data now. Amazing. Old girl was used for construction at some point. Could maybe even be kitted out for salvage running one day. 
This tool will help you see what parts you need to fix her up. It's a little bit of freeware some friends of mine made. Just don't uh, pay too much attention to Shippy. <laughs> it's a luxury. Anyways, you can find everything you need kicking around inside the ships you're salvaging. You could also rip parts out of other ship components. It'd ruin the salvage value, of course. Maybe don't tell Weaver if you're gonna do that. <laughs> no. Can't wait to see what you'll do with this beauty. Good luck, Rick. Okay, so that's what it meant with parts. What was that sound? Hmm? What sound? Did you phone body breath or something? No, it is what it is next to the you know, microphone here. So maybe it hmm. Maybe a notification came through and rumbled it a bit. Yeah, but it wasn't quite a sound. Okay, so that's what it meant with part. So let's see. Planko Armadillo Utility Rig manufactured 2295. I uh, don't know what here we're in at the moment. But I think we could see that at the start somewhere. Uh, yeah, I guess we have our own little mini ship then. And I yeah, can. gauge ready. Maybe maybe this is the current way to finish the story, or maybe one way to finish the story to just uh yeah, get this ship ready and uh, get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay, we'll we'll need to keep an eye on this then. It'll uh, mm -hmm. add a bit to the salvaging other than just pulling everything apart. Now we can also just look for things that might be useful. Hmm. Yeah. I'm worried. Yeah, we we don't know how, to what extent things could go wrong at the moment, or how much it keeps track of. I. Hmm. Maybe Wait, it, maybe it doesn't really keep track of anything, and that the, the story will just play out as it goes, but no matter what we do. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. They. Lou Steiner. Correct me if I'm wrong, but does it Steiner basically mean stoner? Yes, uh, Stein. That that's one bit of German language that I'm blanking on. I think it could. It sounds like it should be uh, stone, but probably not really meant as in the drugs stoner way. Yeah, just. Yeah, probably not just the way you roll it translates as the same in a raw manner. Let's see. Issue 16, member profile Lou Steiner. We continue our series of profiling members of the working uh, of the Selvers Workers Unite group in issue 16. This time we chatted with Lou Steiner from our Carnegie uh, Carnegie uh, Carne Station above Earth to talk about her motivations to fight for workers' rights. If someone is, yeah, uh, if someone among the group is snitching, then this is basically hanging to uh, Lou. Parker, Lou, tell us about your first exposure to the issues of workers' rights growing up. Uh, I grew up amid the squalor of the Eris platforms around Mars, and the knowledge of whose backs built our livelihoods there, as well as on Mars itself, were already uh, prominent topics in my community. I've always been surrounded by people doing good, honest work, and I have also seen them get mistreated for it all of their lives. The people who do all the hard work in service of human progress deserve better than just some fancy words and scraps. Why do you think a workers' union is so important? I believe that we deserve a seat at the table. I believe we deserve a hand in deciding how our everyday work is managed. Our lives, our futures, our well-being are heavily intertwined with the work we do. You know, it's dangerous to be a shipbreaker. We should be a voice in those uh, crucial conversations and I don't believe that others in power should speak for us. Our whole lives are decided and influenced by people who've never spent a day in our suits. It's time for us to realize that, uh, that, we're, <clears throat> that we're all we got, but we're also all we need. Lou's voice is just one among us, but she speaks on behalf of every shipbreaker who believes things could be better. Solidarity is strength. Okay, yeah, I, I don't think it is Lou, because, well, she was the one that first introduced us to this everything. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. 
But once more, we'll just have to continue through the story to actually find out who and what and all of that. And oh, there, the, there is the rig actually. That's, there is the, our little ship. So yeah, that's what this is also for. It kind of looks all the bit cute. And here comes the void again to swallow it all up. Ah. Uh, I guess game over. Now we're trying to run away from uh, nothingness. <laughs> oh no. We do. Uh, it, it is still an early access game, people. But yeah, for now, next week we'll be continuing on with all of this, learning how just how bad things are in this universe and seeing how much we can just chisel away at the stranglehold that Lynx has over us. Oh dear. Yeah. Any more thoughts to share? I hope we get the ship done so you can fly away into the stars somewhere far away from hypercapitalism. Yeah, I, I think and at the I'm moment there's probably three endings at the moment. If things are going as I'm suspecting, there will be one ending where we get the rig and get the hell out. There will be one ending where we uh, fin work off our debt. And there is one pro possible ending where the, uh, yeah, the inspector finds something on us and yeah, we get quote unquote fired or something. That's how I think things are going to go at the moment. Oh dear. Well, what, if we escape with the ship, just just don't open a window to flip it off. <laughs> uh, no, we'll just have. Yeah, I don't think we can with the, those windows on there. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> but yeah, next week more hard space. And well, this is, we're going to get started on the down, yeah, on the Dishonored DLCs. Yay! But, but as always, until then, have a nice day. And until then, yeah, I forget something. Thank you all for watching now or later, and thank you especially, Drakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And thanks to uh, Ram as well, even though he had to go. Uh, yeah. Again, then, until next time, until then. Be safe, folks. Now, are these keys going to work this time?